Alright, so um, I said I was going to be busy um, this weekend and today. Um, so yeah, um, my mom earlier this morning told told me that... Uh, so well here before I tell you this um you need you need some more you need some context before you would understand this. It's basically after me and my sister got picked up from from our schools on the last day of school we um usually when when that usually on the last day of school we would usually go out to eat lunch or dinner at some place and it's usually a Mexican place called los los Arcos, but this time we went to McDonald's. Because, uh, cause, um, cause a storm, um, it was rolling in when I got out, when I, when I literally walked out of school, I seen half the sky was like a uh, grayish and then the other half of the sky was completely black. It's not night black, but it's like a dark, dark, dark gray. I was just like, oh no, that's not, that's not looking too good. But you know, I like storms. I, I'm really obsessed with looking at storms and watching them. So I was, I was excited to see what would happen. So after we picked up my sister from, from a uh, junior high, that's when it all downpoured. So yeah, it starts to rain really hard. The sky, the entire sky just turned dark, dark, dark gray with those storm clouds and stuff. There are tree limbs flying everywhere. Our car was getting hit, and I feel I I felt bad for all the junior high students that had to walk home that um, that um yesterday. So yeah, um, we were supposed to go somewhere at a sit down place, but we didn't want to get trapped in a in a big storm because you know, at that time we me and my mom genuinely thought we would have at least a tornado watch or something, because we did we were under a severe thunderstorm warning at that time too. So yeah. So, yep, we heard the alert, we heard the ESA alert and everything, so, yeah. So, we went to McDonald's, because it's an easy, it's, a, it's an easy peasy thing, so, yeah. But, but, um, today, my mom told me that since we weren't able to have a big, a big lunch, or big dinner, or whatever, whatever you want to call it, since this was, like, this happened after, like, a, what happened to my notification, what happened to my notification screen? All right, so uh, I kind of lost where I was, but but basically, since a big storm kind of ruined, um, kind of ruined this big lunch and dinner thing, uh, it was like half and a half because this happened like at one o'clock, see, because that's when I that's when me and my sister got out of school um, yesterday, so yeah, there's that. So we might be going to Cracker Barrel either today, which I um, certainly doubt it. Or me, we might go tomorrow, which I think we're going tomorrow. But right now we're a little bit at a standstill. So um, so um, so yeah. There's a request um that Dexter, that Dexter. Yeah, it's it's a next Tower Street View request. This one has a lot of towers too. It has a, it has twenty three. Um, can you do it today? What? When are you going to do the request? All right, so right now. Well, there's a little bit of trouble. There's uh, there's two Wade roads, but one has uh, has uh, some SE on it. So so we're we're going over to one that only says Wade Road. So pretty sure there's only one tower here. Yep, tower one. So far we have single towers. Okay, so, um, I don't know if this is the right one or not. Let's look at the the other one. Oh, I kind of forgot what the other one was. But don't worry. I have the, I have a search history. So, uh, there's a, oh, this is a neighborhood. Of course, there's not going to be a tower here. If there is, it'll be very hard to find. Hmm. All right, I finally found the right one. So I guess there's there's actually three Wade Roads down here. So so uh, yeah, isn't isn't it nice how this place is called? Uh, this city is called Owen something. I don't know, but Owen's it. That's the name of uh, the last, at least the last name of one of my favorite teachers in my high school. So yeah, he's pretty rad.
so it's, it's it's pretty nice how this city has his name in it so all right i think you already know what beacon this has like i could have sworn i seen a dual strobe on this there it is that's a dual strobe okay so there's that one all right this here looks like it's it's another lattice tower so um this one will probably have a dual strobe as well, but hopefully it has a, a single strobe. Because uh, I consider a single strobe to be the polar opposite of, of, of a dual strobe. Okay, this was not going to have a single strobe unless it's a 308. I mean 306. And like I guessed, it has a, a, a double... A, a, not It's a dual strobe. I don't know why I called it... almost called it double strobe. I don't know why, but I think this one's just cooler than the first one. I think that top platform is is the reason why. I like it when I see towers have top platforms with no antennas on it whatsoever, just bare. It's it's rare as well, so you don't see it that much. So um, so yeah, that's the reason why I like it more. Oh man, I should have waited to do this later because now I'm in a sneezing fit. Because I decided to sneeze once. Oh, man. It's hard trying to... Um, people are always just like... Pl um, um, put uh, Stick your tongue onto the roof of your mouth to stop it. To stop any other sneeze after you sneeze once. Guess what? The roof of my mouth starts um, starts to have this little itch feeling. Or some feeling that's that's not very pleasant. That always makes me scratch it, so I guess it, it always makes me rub it with my tongue, so I think that's just a itch thing. But it completely disappears right after the sneeze, so... And itches don't do that, I'm pretty sure, so... Yeah. This here, I don't see any visible visible markers, so either it has um, crappy LED markers, which uh, are small and very, uh, very hard to see, or just has a single strobe. Um, I would say that's a, th a single strobe by, by could have sworn, yep, I was right, uh, but that, that doesn't look completely red, like, uh, like, a like a dual strobe supposed to be, like, half white, half red, this looks half white, half gray, let's, uh, look at this, uh, street, uh, this is old street view, Never mind about that. Hmm. Not too sure, if, but I would call, I would say it's a, oh gee, the sun's literally, the, the sun's literally vaporizing this poor tower. Like crap. This is why I don't like um, the sun being in street, in the street view. Cause they always blind, uh, they always block everything. They always absorb everything. It always absorbs everything with its sunlight, like this poor tower here. So I would just say this is a this has a, a TWR a TWR strobe and LED. Since I don't see any red, it just looks uh, white and gray. So yeah, I I can see I can see it. I could definitely see it being a strobe and LED. Okay, and so far all of these towers are uh, lattice towers. We haven't seen a uh, guide tower, monopole, or anything like that. So yeah, I think the I think the only three tower types I know of are uh, like lattice, guide, and monopole. Uh, oh wait, we also uh, we also wait. No, that's just. I was just about to say we have the Blahnox towers, but they are, but they're kind of like two lattice towers formed into one, like one normal lattice tower and one upside down lattice tower. That's how they look. They're very very cool towers. All right, so this here looks like a basic cell tower. I don't think it even has antennas on it. If um. It doesn't have the normal cell antennas. They probably have it. It probably has a LTE antennas on it. Oh, those are those are markers, and they uh, they're kind of in the middle of between the flash technology mark, flash technology dual strobe markers, and the three thousand B markers. Um, 
So, oh, I think, ooh, what did we find here? It's, uh, it's this. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. All right, so far, this here's my favorite tower. It has an FH Shrill, so, uh, uh, FH Shrill 6. Y'all know that the, that, that the good old 306 is one of my favorite beacons of all time. One of my favorite towers used to have one. And that tower there was the very first time I seen a tower with one of these beacons. And it was quite possibly the first ever time I ever seen this beacon before. I was always just like, how the how is it all how is it able to shine both white and red if there's no red if there's no red half or there's no there's nothing red on top of it like a like a normal dual strobe. That's what, yeah, that's, um, I always, um, questioned that. So, yeah, there's that. Well, guys, oh, never mind. I was just about to say, I did not see the tower whatsoever, so there is a possible chance that it's a, a, a guide tower, since, um, since you're not able to visibly see the actual tower as, as well as this here. Because they're, they're, like, pointing up while these here are kind of folded, you know, you know how guide towers are. So since we've seen, uh, like, uh, so far, since, like, 90% of the of, all of the towers we've seen on this list so far have dual strobes, I would imagine just having an LED. Because, you know, that's how it always works when I find towers. That a lot of them have dual strobes, and then there's always that one that has an LED. Oh, I think I might have been right. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, never mind. Well, that's better than an LED, at least. It has a good old dual strobe. It's my favorite as well. The Flash Technology dual strobe. I don't, I don't care what you all say, since, uh, like, every every single tower in this use I know of that, ha that actually has a number one favorite beacon, they're always, they're all, usually the number one favorite beacons favorite beacon of any tower enthusiast I know of are usually the old school incandescents or modern but mostly old school so yeah but I'm here but I I was placed here to break the mold so yeah eventually I told my friends that my favorite that my favorite beacon was uh, flash technology dual strobe they're just like wait what it's not the incandescent I was just like well they're just way more memorable and nostalgic than the incandescence because you know one of my favorite towers or a few of my favorite towers has um has these beacons so yeah so uh now we uh we looked at tower five uh all right so uh now t tower six i'm already losing count well guys this here's going to be a small one but <gasps> oh it's a monopole Finally, our first monopole. Our first tower that's not a, a lattice tower. This one looks tall enough to have a beacon, you know. But I don't think it has one. And I also found out that Dexter's favorite that Dexter's favorite tower is a monopole that has two dual strobes. Oh, this one has a dual strobe. I can see it. I can I can see the red. Mm, maybe not. Kind of looks uh, weird, you know. So uh, we need to get this clear shot without any trees blocking it. Yeah, that's definitely a dual strobe, but uh, there's no other street view. I can't find a a good good uh, good good view. All I can see is a red. But I can, uh, what is that? Ooh, I didn't expect to see a Welland today. Yeah, you can definitely, you can obviously see that's a dual strobe. But it doesn't have the double dual. And in order for a tower to have a double dual is a tower must have two dual strobes on top. Not one dual strobe and on top with two in the middle. I don't consider that to be a double dual. I consider that to be a two, a two dual strobe setups or two sets of dual strobes. No other tower here.
All right, this one's also a monopole. So it looks like we're getting straight into the monopole phase of this video, it looks like. Once you see one monopole, all the others will be monopoles. Wait, this is this is guide. Oh, never mind. This is a guide tower. And that also looks like a single strobe. The sun's kind of blocking it. <gasps> what? Markers. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Either this has a single strobe or a modern LED because modern LEDs, they really do have the appearance of a, of a single strobe. Which, uh, which they 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 look like dual strobes. So I mean, they look like single strobes so much that I even tricked, um, they even even tricked Anchor Ten one time. But this here does look like an actual full fledged uh, single strobe. So uh, there there's that. All right. So uh, this here, this here is a cool one too. Since it's just like number four. Okay, this one's located in like the middle of a city, so I hope this is not going to be a hard one to find. Oh, there it is. Alright, I like how Google Maps is literally um, showing me the exact spot of the road where the towers I need to find are. It's pretty nice, it's pretty cool. This one, that looks like a 3000B. Uh, no, I, that sunlight, that sunlight's blocking it. Mm. This street view is kind of wonky. Oh, that's a flash technology dual strobe. Okay, I think it would be nice if it had a three thousand B. We need more variety here. All right, so there it is, and everything. I would say I would um. Knowing how common the um, knowing how common the dual strobes are, um, even even today, I would I would imagine them being the most popular beacon really of this era because you know um, because you know like um, back then the incandescence used to be there's back then the old school incandescence used to be the most popular beacon ever used in America because. That's literally the only one that I know of that was around at that time. So yeah, every tower had an incandescent there. I would see I seen an old video of the arch getting built, and the last section of the arch getting built, it had an old school incandescent on it. And uh, yeah, the arch is like from the seventies, seventies or sixties. I don't remember, but I I just like man, it's I was just like. Man, it's so weird seeing a tower getting built with an old school incandescent, isn't it? Isn't it? That's how it was back in like the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and and, and all that. And then dual strobes. I mean, I mean, uh, just strobes in general were invented somewhere in the 70s, I think. And then LED, LED lights all together. The, the first ever LED light was created in 1960 something. So yeah, there's some there's some guy who actually created it in 1960 whatever. I don't remember. I didn't think LEDs were that old, right? I would imagine them being like a 90s thing or a 2000s thing. We have returned to the lattice towers because this here's the lattice. All right, this is Florida short route. Why is it called Florida short route? This is Alabama. Eh. Kind of weird. Like we have, we have a city. Well, we have a small town in Missouri that's called Florida, and I think there's another one called New York too. Kind of weird. I took screenshots shots of them, but I take screenshots of everything every day, so they're probably buried down in the screenshot section of my gallery somewhere, waiting to be found. And this, well, I didn't see any markers, so I would I. So yeah, I got a little suspicion after not seeing markers. So, this here is our very first tower to shine white in this video. Well, shine white at day and night, you know. Unless there's like hidden markers somewhere, but FH-306 markers stick out of the tower. They're not usually hidden, so that's a 308. Alright, so this next one's going to be a duel. I can already see them. 
So um, let's hope that one has uh, a beacon that shines white and red, and the other one has a white only beacon. Let's find. Let's define now. Wait a second. This is literally. We all know this. This here is a. This here is what we already seen. So uh, so yeah, no surprise here. But we already know that the cell tower has a dual strobe on it, and then the the plant, then the the bear tower with only like two antennas on it has a single strobe. I I guessed, but it does look pretty new, so I would imagine it being a different beacon now that I think about it. But we already looked at these towers, so um, yeah, we don't need to look at them again. We return to good old detector G A. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm pretty sure there's only a single tower here. Let's, uh... Um... Yep, it's only one tower. Tower 12. Man, at first I thought that was old Street View. Oh, it's a red and white one. And we also got that small concrete... Half concrete, half metal tower. It's pretty nice. Out of all beacons, I would guess this has a... Uh, incandescent. Because that's the most common beacon for a red and white tower. So yeah, it's not a normal, it doesn't look like a, it, it looks like a, I mean, I, I forgot what, I forgot what, um, I think these are pie rod towers, actually, since the legs are, are lattice too, so yeah, I think they're just called pie rods, pie rod towers. Hmm, does this have two sets of beacons? Could have sworn I seen something red in the middle of one of those antenna, antennas, nope. I guess not. Oh, this has a dual strobe. I would imagine a, it's it's uh, it's not not too common to see uh, a red and white tower with a dual strobe. Ta like I said before, red and white towers I would usually see would usually have either old school or modern incandescence or FH eight real eights or no not just FH eight real eights, just any type of strobe that only shines white. Alright, 13 and 14, uh, I can recognize the name of this, 450 of South Carl Road, and I can, I remember the, the street name, I'm um, the city name too, so this looks way too familiar, this must be, uh, um, this, uh, I really hope that these are not just the uh, towers from, from last episode, well, from the other episodes. This also looks too familiar too. I remember having to to uh, go on to this bridge to see the towers. Yep, I've seen this already. Okay, I already looked at um. I already looked at GA eight, so I don't need to look at that. I don't. I don't need to look at that either. I already been to GA eight, so that's uh. So yeah, and then ten thirty ten thirty broadcast PI. I would imagine that being another one we already looked at already looked at because you know it's in Jacksonville. Yep, this broadcast place. We already looked at this stuff. Though um Tower 23's and road name it um it doesn't I can't recognize it, so it must be new. Okay, so by far this here was the hardest one to look up. First off, um First off, can I did I get the numbers right? Yeah, I got the numbers right. So um so first off, uh here. Alright, what about we type up a AL for Alabama? Okay, this is not it. Okay, I don't know. So uh yeah, Google Maps just won't let me go to the street. Um yeah, it just won't. It just won't. So, uh, um, so, uh, yeah, even it, even when I, it would, it, then there's other street names that are, that are called, that are called, um, Mitchell's Way. Um, and they're all, they're all in different cities, in different states and stuff. So, yeah, there is, um, it's not popping up for uh, Scotts uh, Scottsboro, uh, whatever you pronounce it. It just it just won't. So I don't know if I'll be able to look at this one. So yeah, it's uh, 
this here won't it won't let me see but maybe if I uh, huh, hmm. you know what I really don't want to look at all of these little streets to find out which is which Cedar Hill Drive hmm reminds me of a famous tower farm hmm huh. no I, I can't I, I don't have I don't I don't think I'll ever have the patience to do that, so I'll probably just end it now. See you guys later. Bye.